You know, and then there are so many rivalries going on here in the Middle East. In fact, in one chapter of the book, uh, it's called The Perfect Storm. And there's another chapter called The Middle East Game of Thrones. There are so many rivalries going on. For example, you have ISIS against the Assad regime. You have Iran against Israel. You have Russia uh, against ISIS, against the rebels. You have Turkey and Russia that are at odds between each other. You have Iran that is facing off against Saudi Arabia and many of the Gulf nations. And in this Middle East Game of Thrones, there's been some unlikely alliances happening. And one of those alliances is between some of the Sunni nations like Saudi Arabia, the Gulf states, Jordan and Egypt are forming an alliance with Israel. Believe it or not, many of these nations see Israel as less of a threat than they do than a nuclear Iran. And so when you see all these uh, alliances going back and forth, it really is a very precarious time here in the Middle East. Uh, and as I said, many people describe it like a perfect storm. And some people think it's so dangerous, it sort of replicates the time before World War I in Europe, uh, just preceding the, what's called uh, the war to end all wars. And some people believe right now we may be on the verge of a World War III.